got her ticket, was super, super happy. And this time, me too, was so happy. But guys, we have another surprise coming. I know some of you are wondering if they talked about the bride price. Yes, they talked about the bride price. He understood and was ready to pay that bride price. When it comes to spoiling her, he <laughs> tells us whenever he could send the money, you know, for the visa, that first time, and now for the ticket, could be some extra there <laughs> for her to use, yeah. So again, guys, Hawa prepared herself, was over the moon. I gave her the tips again, you know. <laughs> Make sure you have your invitation letter at hand. When they ask it, you have it. But I forgot to tell her about show money. If you remember my story, I shared it when it came to show money at the time I was traveling, how I got stressed. So Hawa goes to the airport, it is checking in, and when she was checking in, these people start asking her lots of things. The passport, they want to see the passport of the person inviting her. They ask her, why is this ticket you know written on? Hawa tells them, it is Dubai Airline that wrote on it. So asked her the invitation letter, she showed the invitation letter, then they started telling her, do you have any money by yourself? <laughs> Howard didn't have any money by herself. <laughs> just like Bella. So these people start telling her, what if this Russian guy doesn't come to the airport to pick you? What are you going to do? Then how I was like, if he sent me money for the ticket, why wouldn't he come to pick me at the airport? They were like, do you know Russian people? They are so cruel. But if you reach there, he does bad things to you. We see he has got lots of beards. What if this guy rapes you? <laughs> How in her head was like, leave me alone. <laughs> Even if he rapes me, is it your body? <laughs> so they start worrying her, talking of horrible things about Rustam, telling her they need to see if she has got money. If she doesn't have money, cannot travel. So she stayed there for almost an hour, guys. And her aunt called, the aunt that works in the government. Yeah, she is a sergeant. So when she called Hawa, was like, what's going on? Hawa told her, they are not allowing me to board because they're telling me I need to have some money. Russian people are not to be trusted and all that. So the aunt was like, give the phone to one of the immigration officer there i want to talk to them at first they refused to talk to her but later they accepted when they took the call she introduced herself and they were like it's okay sergeant we're going to let her go but why are you risking your daughter's life <laughs> oh my god the call ends and then hawa got allowed to board when she got allowed to board sent me a message was like i faced some challenges here but i'm glad i'm boarding now sent me the videos the photos <laughs> oh my god i was so happy and told me because in russia we need to use vpn and i don't know how to use it i will inform you through joyce because joyce is in russia so i'll send a message to joyce and joyce will inform you that I arrived safely. Guys, at that time, to be honest with you, I started getting worried. I told you it's a huge risk. Someone is taking, you know, from your country, going to meet a stranger. Oh my God. I'm telling you at night, I prayed a lot and I was like, God protect this girl. Let me hope Rustam is a good guy. Like we have been seeing through the communication. Guys, because when I talk to you and then I tell you to pay, you pay, I start guiding you through your relationship. I take a very huge responsibility because we are talking about your future. Because if anything happened to Hawa in Russia, oh my God, I was going to be blamed because I was there guiding her, telling her everything is fine. The guy is good. Go ahead. So this all explains my worries that night. In the morning, I didn't hear from Hawa. The second day, nothing. On the third day, I received a message from Joyce. She forwarded me a message that tower sent to her to tell me she arrived safe everything is fine at that time 
hours at peace and i thanked god so yes guys hawa arrives in russia and he comes to the airport to pick her she was super super happy but they never kissed due to the religion tells us it's like they were brother and a sister he only helped her to put on a winter coat because he had brought a winter coat winter shoes for her <laughs> They go home, they were happy to see each other. Yes, they talked, laughed a lot. <laughs> yeah, but slept different rooms. Yes. <laughs> These people wanted to wait till marriage. And, and the second day went to the mosque and they got married. So after getting married, the family was super, super happy and tells us his mother brought lots of gifts for her. And then guys, to you that likes to hear the goodies. <laughs> yes, guys, that night the goodies were shared. <laughs> It went really, really good. I won't go into details because she told me, Bella, please don't go into details. <laughs> yeah, but all was good, guys. And from the time Hawa arrived in Russia, Rustam dedicated his time on her. Yes, because really he is a busy guy. He has got a farm full of animals the cows the goats the sheep the horses oh my god he has got a very very big farm he does also agriculture but at that time when Hawa was around his brother was helping him taking care of his farm and also took Hawa to see the farm so after their religious marriage they went to register the marriage but when they went to register the marriage lots of documents were missing including a police clearance oh my god they got frustrated they cried very very much to get that news because how was supposed to go back to tanzania so that she can prepare all those documents that were needed for the marriage to be registered. But guys, there was no any other option of Hawa to remain in Russia illegally, no. So at the end of the day, they agreed that Hawa should go back to Tanzania. So yeah, after agreeing she's going to go back to Tanzania, remember her visa was expiring 21st of January and she went to Russia on 14th of january so she had only one week to spend with rustam so within that one week she tells us he treated her very very well just like a princess some things guys they're so so private i can't tell them because she told me not to tell you <laughs> but yo she was treated just like a princess by rustam even his family oh my god they accepted her they were treating her so good they could crack jokes you know <laughs> using google translator you know <laughs> they speak and google translates then Howard speaks and it translates to them so it was really really a happy moment even the mother-in-law told her don't worry your home is here i know you're going to come back when you go to tanzania please learn russian so that that we can communicate they also exchanged phone numbers so this thing of exchanging numbers it is really really good because even Hawa had exchanged her mom's number her auntie's number so sometimes when she could be offline because she tells us airtime money bundle money was a problem <laughs> So when she could be broke, not online, and Rustam could check her, not find her, could write to the aunt and be like, I've not heard from Hawa, please tell her goodnight. Oh my God. <laughs> when a guy is real, it really feels really good, guys. Yeah, so now the mother has exchanged the WhatsApp numbers with Hawa so that they can communicate and if anything happens to Rustam to his phone, of course, she has got the phone number of his mother, can talk to his mother. Wow, I really like this. 
So yeah, the connection was there between Hawa, Rusam, the family, even Rusam's brother was calling Hawa along her. Along her is chocolate in Russian. <laughs> that your wife is chocolate, you know her skin color, she is chocolate, and tells us where Rustam lives and his family, you know, that city, black people are rare to see. So everyone was looking at her, but not in a bad way. People were talking to her, asking Rustam, who is she? She's my wife, but she is leaving soon. So they could feel sorry for him and be like, oh, and those as happened one time, they went to the shop and then the shopkeeper gave her gifts. She was like, I couldn't believe it. Oh my God. I never thought Russian people are that gentle. I laughed and told her, me too, looking at Rustam's photo. Oh my God, he looks like someone who does not smile, you know, that hardcore. <laughs> but she told me, no, <laughs> he's such a sweet guy. You know, he laughs a lot and he is very, very friendly. <laughs> yes, she said it's like they've known each other forever. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, when you pray to God, he brings exactly what you pray for. Because I'm sure exist ladies that are watching me now, now, <laughs> that could have come across Rustam on a dating app, even if he was paying. After chatting with him, you could have dumped him. Yes, due to his lifestyle. And this explains to why he was not paying on a dating app because <laughs> i remember one of my friends i think i told you <laughs> came across a guy who had poultry that was his business and this lady was telling me in swahili bella do you know how poultry feces can smell <laughs> The whole house even this guy will be smelling poultry feces <laughs> Nyumba itakuwa inanuka mavi ya kuku hata huyu mwanaume itakuwa inanuka mavi ya kuku hivyo hivyo kwa hiyo mimi kwa kweli no i'm not looking for a guy who will be smelling you know poultry feces and i'm not sure even if he has that money you know <laughs> <laughs> to be with me <laughs> so i know some of you could have ignored this guy because we can see his lifestyle but with hawa they are just a perfect match yes so yes guys one week passed and hawa had to travel back to tanzania and she contacted me when she was at dubai international airport told me i arrived late the plane left me they gave me a room here at the hotel so i am at the hotel today i will be you know updating you on everything of what happened <laughs> i was like okay so she told me everything of what happened i was sorry happy at the same time because any situation that comes to you, no matter how bad it is, we have to look at the positive side of it. So I tried to look at the positive side of it and told Hawa to look at the positive side of it. She was like, yes, Bella, you are right. So as I'm talking right now, Hawa is in Tanzania and getting ready to reapply again for the visa so that she can go to Russia, live her happily ever after. I'm praying for you, girl. And when that happens, guys, I'm going to come back here and update you. So to the dating app where Hawa met Rustam, they met on Muslima. Guys, if you are a Muslim lady searching for love, concentrate on Muslima because I've got lots of success stories. You who follow me here on YouTube, you can confirm that of the success stories that I shared in the past about Muslima. And guys, before I forget about her mother-in-law, yes, she has been communicating with Hawa, though there is language barrier. Right now, Rustam sent her money to go and study Russian. So she is studying Russian. Also, Rustam is sending her money for the upkeep. You know, he is a responsible husband and we thank God for that. So you who understand Swahili, Hawa gave you a very important advice that I cannot ignore. I'm going to be putting her voice notes here so that you can listen. Those who don't understand Swahili, I'll try to put some subtitles so that you can get something out of it. Kwanza kabisa kupitia mafunzo yako ya video ya menisaidia mpaka nkampata Rostam. 
cha kwanza nilikuwa sina utaratibu wa kumtumia mtu message kwa nashauri watu atume message lakini funzo lingine ulionishauri ni kwamba asome profile ya mtu usome profile ya mtu uone huyu mtu anataka nini na yuko serious na ndoa maana kama unasema wengine wanaandika friendship una una text mtu haja hujasoma profile lake mshauri siku huyo mtu anataka friendship mnakuwa hamna malengo kwa kupitia mafunzo yako ya video zako umenisaidia sana kwa swala kama hilo pia nilikuwa sijui mtu gani kalipia mtu yani nilikuwa sijui mtu huyu amelipia au mtu huyu hajalipia kupitia mafunzo yako pia nimeweza kujua skama ni nani na mtu ambaye sio skama ni yani mtu tu anaanza na sex talks najua kama ni kitu cha kawaida kwa kuwa si ni yani wa, yani ndio mnaelekea kuwa wapenzi yani nilikuwa najua kwamba sex talks ni ni kitu cha kawaida kati ya kuchati na mtu yani mnaanza tu na kuanza mtu anaanza sex talks lakini nimechati na rooster mwaka mzima haje kuniambia sijui boobs sijui but sijui but <laughs> haje kuniambia ni maana ni ya kawaida basi nakupenda na kubusu basi i miss you basi yani ni hivyo tu haje kuniambia sijui sijui yani na hamu ya kufanya mapenzi sijui na hamu na kitu fulani sijui yani hajawahi kwa kupitia mafunzo yako yamenisaidia sana nimeweza kutambua huyu ni skama huyu sio skama kusema ukweli na shauri watu walipie kwa sababu u, u, mtu akilipia anakuwa free kuweza swali lolote muda wote anaohitaji na wewe pia unakuwa na moyo unapata moyo wa kumjibu mtu maana fikiria mimi nimekulipa pesa kidogo ambayo yani unatumia matumizi ya siku na hata siku inaweza isiishe lakini umenisaidia mwaka mzima yani umeinvest muda mwingi ila siku kutumia siku moja umeinvest mwaka na umenisaidia mambo mengi sana Russia kulikuwa hamna Russia Western Union zimefungwa nikakuomba unisaidie ukanifu. ukafanya juu chini kunitafutia namba ya Jamal kuniuliza kwa Joyce akanisaidia kupata jinsi ya kutuma pesa kwa sababu tuliangaika mwezi mzima mpaka visa ikalika mwezi wa kwanza nilikuwa hawezi kunitumia pesa hamna Western Union wewe ukanisaidia nika... wewe ulinisaidia nikapata namba ya Jamal akaweza kunitumia pesa nikaingia nika ubalozini na shukuru Mungu nikafanikiwa na pia kupitia video zako na watu nilio chat nao nilikuwa naona kwamba mtu asipo kutambulisha kwenye familia yake naona ni kitu cha kawaida lakini video zako zimenisaidia sana nikaweza kumwambia Rustam na mimi nahitaji kuongea na wazazi wako lakini nyuma sikuwe kufanya kitu kama hicho nimechati na Sergio miaka miwili Sikuwahi kumpamplishi naomba niongee na wazazi wako mpaka mara ya kwanza nilipo kutumia message ukaniuliza je ulishie kuongea na wazazi wake nikakwambia hapana wewe ndio ulinisaidia Instagram kuniambia kwamba mwambie uongee na wazazi wake nilipo mwambia kuhusu kuongea na wazazi wake ni akadisapia <laughs> muda mrefu yani anadisapia kupotezea mada kiule nakuja na mada mpya na kitu kingine kupitia mafunzo yako mchon select kingine Instagram mpaka nikaweza kugundua Sergio Nitapeli. Ni kwamba nilikuwa sijui kwamba kuna ulazima wa kuchati na mtu WhatsApp. Mimi tulikuwa tuna chat na Sergio miaka miwili Instagram. Najua ni kitu cha kawaida. I love you nyingi na mimi love you. Tunajua ni kitu cha kawaida. Kwa yani video zako zimenisaidia sana kuja kumwambia Sergio naomba namba yako ya simu akanipa namba namba ya akiba wewe WhatsApp jamani ushie kuona wapi mzungu WhatsApp namba yake haionekani wakati unatumia wifi muda wote yani akijaribu kutumia message leo inakaa hata siku tatu siku nne haiko online kwa wasiana na watu wengine kwa hiyo nikupitia mafunzo yako umenisaidia mengi sana niweza kujua huyu ni mkweli huyu sio mkweli Eni mafunzo yako yamenisaidia sana kusema ukweli. Na kushukuru sana. Kupitia video zako za Instagram ulinitia moyo. 
nikaweza kudownload tena dating apps na kuanza maisha mapya ya dating apps ambapo nilikuwa nishakata tamaa kwamba yani nilikuwa naona dating apps sio kweli watu hawapati niliona tu ni utape lakini kupitia video zako za insta kupitia video zako za youtube niliweza kupata moyo na nashuru Mungu na pia msaada wako kupitia Instagram ulizidi kunitia moyo jaribu dating app jaribu dating app hii nashuru Mungu mwisho wa siku nikafanikiwa Mimi wote walikuwa wananivunja moyo shek kuna msungu gani anapenda watu alijifunika funika wao wamezidi kujifunika sana utaki kujifunika na pia ujiachie mara moja moja kwanza kila siku uko maeneo huko kwenu inabidi utoke mara moja moja uende beach kwa video ile ya happy kupitia video yako ile itoa ya happy nikaona kwamba wazungu wapatikani beach na nikaona kwamba hata ukienda beach msungu wapatikani na kupitia video yako ile ya zubeda na pia yule dada lolo wa Uturuki nikajua kwamba hata muislamu awe anafaki yani hata waislamu wanapata wazungu na pia mavazi sio kigizo kwamba utakosa mzungu kupitia jinsi wewe ulivyo na utapata mtu wa aina yako kwa hiyo watu wasikate tamaa mimi watu walikuwa wananiambia yani kwa jinsi wewe ulivyo unavyojiekaeka unajizeesha bado mtoto mdogo yani he, hata mjapani hata kuja kukua labda mchina mm, hata mchina mwenye sizeni kama atakuja kukuoa labda muindi alofilisi kani hata muindi <laughs> hata muindi utampata utaisha kuolewa na wapemba umezidi sana mtoto mdogo kujizeesha unazidi kujifunika funika kwa hiyo yani nilikuwa nakata tamaa nasema yani kwa jinsi hivi ninavyojifunika nitapata kweli mzungu atakaye nipenda kwa hiyo nashukuru Mungu kupitia video zako zenitia moyo kwamba hakuna kinachoshindikana kutokana na dini yako imani yako jinsi unavyojiweka na utapata mtu unaye stahili ushauri kwa mabinti wenzangu au watu wa rika zote wanaotafuta wenza katika dating apps cha kwanza kabisa wasifute dating apps haijalishi unapita changamoto gani katika dating apps matapeli hawakosekani watu wanaopenda nude photo hawakosekani lakini tusikate tamaa tusifute dating apps mimi kwa mara ya kwanza nijiunge 2018 na nilipomuuliza mwenzangu alijiunga miaka minne nyuma. Usikute ni alijiunga 2018 au 2019. Light kama ningekuwa sijafuta dating app kipindi hicho nyuma labda tungua tushia kutana mambo mengine yashaendelea. Kwa hiyo kukata tamaa kwangu ikanifanya nikafuta muzima. Basi na mwenzangu naye akaendelea kuhaso <laughs> mpaka nilipokutana na wewe dada yangu ndo nikapata moyo kujiunga tena lakini mwanzo kaisha sota miaka minne kwa light kama ningekuwa sijafuta tungo tushakutana miaka minne nyuma kingine tusubali kufanya hiyo sexy kwa video call tusikubali kumtumia mtu picha za utubu kuamini kwamba ndo atakupenda ni ataisha tu kudharau bas lakini hamna mapenzi hapo yani hamna mapenzi hapo yani tusikubali hata siku moja kumtumia mtu picha za utupu na kuamini kwamba nikimtumia labda ndo atanipenda hamna na ataisha tu kukuangalia picha zako na atakublock au ataisha kukuenjoy bas mimi nimechati na Sergio miaka miwili miaka yote ananilazimisha mala tufanye sex video call tufanye hivi kumbe alikuwa hana malengo na mimi kwa hiyo kama ningekubali angenitumia tu angesha kunitumia katika video call ningemtumia picha zangu za uchi lakini hana malengo mtu wa kweli hata siku moja hatakuomba hizo picha za uchi wala hatakuomba sex kwenye video ushauri mwingine kwa watu wanaotafuta wenza katika mitandao ya kuchumbiana ni kwamba tusubiri kutumiwa message. Ukisubiri kutumiwa message unajipunguzia nafasi ya kumpata mwanza wako kwa sababu mimi nilicho gundua kwamba naona kama watu wengi, wengi wazungu wengi wanakuwa ni bize 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 bize. Mimi nilipomtafuta siku hiyo nilipochukua namba ya Rustam alikuwa ni huko ana drive usiku. Kwa naona ni muda mwingi anakuwa kazini anakuwa na hata muda kuingia kwenye hizo apps. Kwa tusi tusipoteze muda tuatumie message Mungu akipanga 
Hata kujibu utampata mtu anaye anaye kufaa. Yaani tusikate tamaa. Majibu ya kejeli yako ni mengi. Mtu anakujibu nyodo usikate tamaa. Unajua kabisa huyo sio sio sahihi kwangu. Mungu akupanga niwe naye. Kwao tuma message usikate tamaa. Tuma message usikate tamaa. Mungu kama amekupangia ni riziki yako utampata tu. Yaani tuma message usichoke. Watu wanajibu majibu ya karani wengi. Watu wanakukatisha tamaa tu lakini usikate tamaa pambania ndoto yako utafika tu ma message haijalishi unakaa kwenye hapo muda gani haijalishi usikate tamaa songa mbele haluta continue <laughs> ushauri wa kidunia yani tusali sana na tuamini kwamba yani kama una ndoto kuolewa na mzungu muombe sana Mungu naomba unisaidie nipate mzungu na uamini kabisa kwamba yani kwa dhati kutoka moyoni uamini kwamba mimi siku yote Mungu atanijibu ndoto yangu. Usikate tamaa. Yaani tusikate tamaa kabisa. Tumuombe Mungu sana na tuamini kwamba Mungu atajibu maombi. Hakuna ninaoshindikana kwa Mungu. Yeye ndio mweza wa kila kitu. Kwa tumuombe sana Mungu. Atatusaidia siku yote. Riziki ikifika tutampata mtu anayestahili na wandoto yetu. Kingine tuwe na subira tusikate tamaa hasoling ni nyingi yani mtu kila unapopita unakwama kila unapopita unakwama lakini usikate tamaa ukaona kwamba yani ndoto zangu ndo zimeishia hapa kikishindikana hichi mlango mmoja ukifungwa unjue kuna mlango mwingine utafunguliwa Mungu ata, atakupa kitu unachokihitaji usikate tamaa na kama una ndoto ya kitu farmio mazangu alikuwa ananiambia kama una ndoto una ndoto ya kulewa na mzungu kuwa na subira Mungu atakupa unachokistahili Mungu atakupa unapenda mzungu Muislamu mwenye dini Mungu atakupa ana Mungu atakupa unachokitaka kwa yani usiwe na yani unakuwa una una, napenda wazungu lakini mara unahangaika huku na Usmani na Juma mara sijui nani ah, inakuwa ipendezi yani hata Mungu anaona wewe mtu hayuko serious kwa tuwe na subira tusubiri kile kitu ambacho tunakihitaji moyo wetu unakihitaji kitu kingine tusisikilize haters wanataka nini watu ni wanaongea sio kila mtu anafurahia ndoto yako watu wako kwa ajili ya kukatisha tu tamaa yani mtu naambia mimi na ndoto ya kuwa na kitu fulani anaona ndoto yako ni kubwa kwa hiyo yani wako special kwa ajili ya kukatisha tamaa huta hutafika hapo unapotaka mimi watu walikuwa ninaambia ni wewe kwa jinsi unavyojiweka hivyo mingongo wako unaovaa unajifunika kafunika hakuna mzungu atayekuja kukupenda kwanza muda wote huko maeneo ya huko vijijini mzungu utampata pinenda beach vaa vimini yani ni hivyo kwa hiyo yani tusika, tusisikilize haters wana wanasema nini tuamini kwamba jinsi mimi nilivyo Mungu atanipa mwanaume wa aina yangu ni kwa naomba Mungu anipe mwanaume mcha Mungu anayeswali na shuru Mungu rusta mwanaswali swala tano na ananihimiza kuswali napendaga kuvaa ushungi wa kujitupia tu rusta mwasema haitakiwi hivi yani ni mtu ambaye ni ameshika dini japokuwa ameslim ni ameshika dini kuliko hata mimi kwa mambo mengi ya dini ananihamasisha kitu hichi sicho kitu hichi ndicho yani hivyo Mungu atakupa kila Mungu atakupa kitu unachostahili kwa wakati wake lakini ukisema usikilize haters wanataka nini wanasema nini kwamba mimi sitafikia ndoto yangu ni ukisema uwasikize ndio utafikia leti kama ningesikiliza haters wanataka nini ni kwenye olewa na mpemba sasa hivi sijui niko Zanzibar nishaza watoto kede kede lakini nilisema kwamba sisikizi mnasema nini mimi nitapambania ndoto yangu na nitafikia tu kwa hiyo tuamini katika ndoto zetu mimi niliambiwa kwamba hutaolewa na mjapani hutaolewa na mchina hutaolewa hata muende aliofilisika utaishi kuolewa na mpemba tu lakini naamini Mungu akijeria kwa uwezo wake nitafunga ndoa na rooster naamini hicho ushauri mwingine kwa mabinti wa Kiislamu kama una ndoto ya kuwa na mwanaume wa kizungu umeingia umejiunga na dating apps usikubali mwanaume anakuambia nipe nitumie picha ionyeshe mwili wako jinsi ulivyo au nitumie kichwa wazi nitumie siku kitu fulani yani wasikubali kwa sababu huyo mtu ni anakuenjoy mtu anayekupenda kwa dhati atakupenda jinsi ulivyo mimi rooster mwaka mzima huu Haje kuniambia hata nione unyole wako ukoje. Nitumie nione kifua chako kikoje. Mbona hujanitumia umevaa nguo nione mwili wako ukoje? Ni hajawahi. Kwa, kwa mabinti wa Kiislamu na washauri, yani wasi wasi fate kitu anachotaka mtu kwa kuona kwamba labda yani mtu kama anajistiri aendelee kujistiri aone kwamba nitapata mzungu wa design yangu. Yani mtu yani mpaka mimi nikuona kata tamaa. Niliwatumia mimi si dating. 
Nikasema Mungu wangu, au labda ushungi ndio maana hawaja respond message. Yaani nijisikia vibaya ngasema lakini amna. Mungu ni wetu sote. Kama mimi ninavaa ushungi nitapata mtu wa design yangu anayependa kuvaa ushungi. Naamini hivyo. Kwa hata kama ni mdada una imani yako wa Kikristo, yani usikubali kama unajisiri, usikubali mtu anakuambia nitumie nitu, nitumie kitu fulani nione jinsi mwili wako ulivyo. Usikubali ni utampata mwanaume wa design yako tu. Ukiona mtu unampata wa tofauti ni usikubali kufanya kitu ambacho kitakwa sababu ni anakuenjoy tu mwisho siku ataishia kukuona mjinga na kukublock. Yaani wewe ndio ushauri. Mimi rooster mwaka huu hata siku moja je kuniambia hebu vua vua ushongi tuone nywele zako zilivyo hakuwa. Nitumie picha nywele zako. Nitumie picha sijui mazoezi yako nione kifua kimefanyaje lakini niliko chati huko nyuma Sergio. Zizu siku yana niuliza do you have a big bad accent? Kambia, I don't know. Ujui, kwa ni kila siku unaoga vipi? <laughs> kila siku unaoga vipi? Ngaa mimi sijui sijani unaweza ukaona jinsi ulivyo nyuma yako. Ngaa mimi sijui. Yaani sijui. Kwa kama unanipenda kwa jiga big bad accent mimi sijui. Kwa hiyo kufuata profile inasemaje wewe unakufuata umbe big bad accent. Kwa watu wengine ni wa ongo, kwa wa dada wa Kiislamu, wa Kikristo kama ni mtu wa kujistiri, usikubali kumtumia mtu picha kuonyesha maungu wako kwamba atanipenda na kuna kitu kama hicho. Yaani hakuna sahau. So before I end this video guys, I know you guys don't speak Russian, but our brother-in-law has got a YouTube channel where he shares videos of his farms, his animals and you know his daily activities around the farm. Please please go support him. I'm going to share the name of his channel down there so that you can check it out. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations to you Hawa and Rustam for finding love. And last, 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 before I end this video, guys, Hawa requested me to tell her mother and her aunties that thank you so much for understanding. Thank you so much for the support that you have been showing her. Thank you for taking care of her. This is to Hawa's aunties and her mom. We love you. <laughs> And guys, from this, I repeat, keep yourself close to people that support you, people that support your dream, people that brings positivity into your life. Stay away from negativity. Stay away from people who discourages your dreams. So dear friends, we have reached to an end of our today's video. I know it has been long, but you have enjoyed it. I hope so. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video till now. God bless you for your love and your support. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you have liked it, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. They are super, super good. Comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.